Okay, so you're stuck on SteelSeries GG, unable to sign in. You are not alone. Even if you try to sign up, it still doesn't work, it gives you an error. Well, let me try to sign in and let's see what it says. For example, I put my password, I know 1 million percent the password works. And I know it's this password because I am signed in right here. Yes, this is my Steel Series account and it works. So the password is good. And even if you try to reset the password, it will still give you this one here. As I said, if you try to create a new account, it will still not work. Well, there's one problem that we are all neglecting here. Steel Series GG app seemingly doesn't seem to work with VPN. In my case, my VPN is installed on the router. Yes, I use a VPN on my router. If we disconnect the VPN, let's go right here. It's connected as you see. I'm gonna turn it off just for a few seconds. I am that type of person that, yeah, I'd rather not go online than not use VPN. I know, I know if you believe it or not, on VPN, it doesn't matter to me at the, that point, but I don't go online without a VPN on my router. Now, let's go to SteelSeries and try to log in with VPN off. Let me click log in here. And as you see, we are logged in. Boom. And now I can use Sonar again if I want to. Sonar is off because I don't want it off right now since I'm recording this video for you guys. But usually when I record my videos... I actually have Sonar on because it does a really good job with the uh, noise cancelling in a nice way since Goyo is paid now. It's no longer free. It's a beautiful software but quite pricey. But since I own Steel Series devices, keyboards, I don't know, microphones, headphones, I don't know if they're gonna start selling underwear, probably I'll buy those too because I really love their stuff. Not gonna lie. Now, I would love if they let me sign in with vpn but hey can't complain about something that i really like and they do a really good job on this software and they do a good job on their products which yeah i sound like i'm shilling for them but seriously they have top-notch quality products yes i have the apex uh, keyboard i have the arctic uh headphones i have the alias pro microphone everything they sell i probably have it and they deserve to be praised and now let me turn on my uh, VPN back again. Just give it a second to turn back on. And if you feel it's weird to have a VPN in your router, let me tell you, you're, you're quite wrong here. You should have a VPN on your router. And I 1 million percent, I'm not getting paid. They don't even know I exist except for being their customer for years now. I 1 million percent suggest go with express vpn don't even look around forget about the beautiful cute words that a million other vpns will tell you if you want serious connections and serious vpn working without throwing a fit without having too many wishy-washy things express vpn yeah i know i know cape technologies and all that stuff trust me i tried them all express vpn so far is the only one that actually does the job that a vpn is supposed to do without taking a hit on your speeds almost at all actually most of the time you don't even feel the speeds anyway this video is not about the vpn this video is about steel series gg now that we have the vpn on for my entire house let me put this back on there let me bring steel series here let me exit the app completely okay just make sure that exits okay now the app is shut down and let me restart the app again it should work. It should be signed in already now. Yep, after that initial sign, a little sign in that you have to turn off the VPN, you should be good to go. No problem. If it does that problem after you reset your computer, do whatever, if it does that problem again, just make sure you turn off your VPN while you sign in. After you sign in, turn on the VPN again and you are good to go. Sometimes it will do it even if you don't have VPN, if your ISP wants to be finicky and funny about it, well, just uh, restart your router. Re uh, turn it off for probably 30 seconds, so it refreshes the IPs, come back in, and try going back to SteelSeries GG. And in that case, that's all I had to tell you. I'm really, really a big fan of SteelSeries and ExpressVPN. This is the perfect video to shill for my probably favorite company, so what can I say? If somebody does something good, I feel obligated to actually say it. If they do something bad, I'll say that too. And if you watch me for any length of time, you'll find some of my videos 
straight up calling some things even scams. I'm not afraid of doing that. But in this case, SteelSeries and ExpressVPN, they've been working for many years that I've been with them. Never had a single hiccup. And with that said, please like and subscribe this video. Share it with somebody that might, got, might have gotten stuck behind this kind of small glitch here. Let them know that there's a solution. And we will see you next time. Bye.